G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to our dining room slash my office slash school supply room slash mushroomery um, here up in our house. Uh, today's clip we're going to have a look at some of the mushrooms. We got some more kits from an urban culture workshop we did through the week and also I got a kit sent over from the fantastic Julian over at Lifecycle in Western Australia so I'll give you a bit of a gander at that. First off though, I have a little bit of news. It's um, something some of you guys are probably sick of hearing about. We're finally renovating the house. We had the builder around yesterday, John, from John Box and Son. G'day, John. Um, he popped around, we sat down, went through his rough quote. He wanted to make sure we were on the same page with everything that's going to be happening. And he's gone home and he's doing up the final quote for us to take to the bank so he can get a loan to renovate the house. And we are super excited. So this renovation actually is pertinent to um, not only the YouTube channel itself, but me continuing to help people uh, learn about aquaponics and backyard farming. And the main reason is uh, not only are we getting more living space upstairs, we're creating a workshop downstairs for myself so I can build more projects. And we've also got an inside area and an outside area undercover where we can have small groups of people around to learn about aquaponics and backyard farming in a workshop environment. Um, also helps to give me a little bit of extra income as well. Now, for all you people who have already been through the property, I'll still be doing open days in that where you can check out the aquaponic system and the wicking beds and I can give you a few pointers here and there and answer your questions. But the workshops will be a little bit more detailed and you'll be able to go home and use some of the things you've learned to build a small little backyard farm to become more responsible for your own food and then in turn share it with your neighbours and friends and family and you know just get the ball rolling hopefully in a small way and getting people more interested in in, um, yeah, growing and becoming more self-reliant. Just a little bit about myself, just for you folks to know why I want to do what I'm doing. Um, I've been a home dad for the last 20 years. Bianca's been pursuing a career outside of the, the home. She works in the environment field. Um, we've home educated our children since Maya, our eldest, who's now doing a degree in criminology and criminal justice, since she was in grade five. Um, she's now out of home. Um, Kira is in grade eight doing school of distance education from home. And because Kira is now working by herself a lot more, it's really allowed me more time to hone my skills. Not only will I've been trying to fix my video editing and storytelling, but it's also allowed me to learn a lot more. And I really want to help other people by passing it on. I mean, I've worked in retail stores, I worked on a resort on Morton Island, I've done um, rollover gear for army trucks here in Australia, refueling trucks, but nothing excites me more than seeing, a, a, you know, someone's expression change when I explain a concept to them and the penny drops, they finally get it and then they can then take that information home, um, apply it in their own backyard or maybe even teach their friends and family as well on how to grow food or fish or whatever it may be. So before we get into the uh, looking at the mushrooms, I really do need to thank you folks for supporting the channel, uh, continuing to watch the, um, the clips as they come out. If you're new to the channel and you've stuck around this far and you like what you've heard, you can always hit that little subscribe button down there and you'll be sent updates if you check the little bell icon whenever I upload a clip to YouTube. Uh, for everyone else over on Patreon, I really do have to thank you guys for the continued support because I know I have dropped off um, posting content, but I've just been a little bit busy um, cleaning out bits and pieces around the house here, getting ready for the renovation. So I do hope you understand. Um, yeah, I will leave it there and we'll start looking at the mushrooms, give you a bit of a gander of what we got up to. So here we go, folks. Here's a look at a couple of the little bags we've got on the go here. Um, this is some Johnny Utah from our first urban culture workshop. Uh, there's a couple of, um, you can see the pins up the top there, and there's a couple of um, fruiting bodies down the side here. So these ones we had resting after the first flush, and Bianca's decided to um, just cut some little slits where she's seen some pinning. She didn't cut on the X. So in a couple of days, we'll have some lovely Johnny Utahs coming out of here. I'm just gonna move these one to one side. And over here we have some of the bags we made up. We actually made up two bags each of the Johnny Utah. And it was on Wednesday this week, which is only three, three, four days ago. And as you can see, uh, the little grain spawn, there's these little bits of millet down here that were inoculated with the mushrooms. They're actually starting to grow some uh, mycelia out from there. And yeah, eventually we'll have a nice little harvest out of here. And just to show you, these ones here are very, <laughs> very low tech. They're the Ziploc bags, whereas this one here from the first course are the actual uh, mushroom bags. 
Um, so there, there is a difference on how we made up the mushroom batches this time with Ryan. Um, what we did was um, we mixed up the, the grain spawn in a bucket with the cat litter that had been mixed with some water. And then from there we placed it into these Ziploc bags and we cut a series of slits in the bags themselves. And then over the top of that, we added some of this micropore tape. And what that does is it acts like a gas exchange, just like those little patches on the first mushroom bags we made up do. So it's a very low tech method. Here we have um, just our two tan generation two bags. So we made up these guys to be split five times. Now, because we're renovating very soon, uh, Bianca and I have decided we're not actually going to split these up into five more bags, which we could, and then potentially split again and again and again. We're actually going to let these guys fruit. So they're just out here for you guys to have a look at them today, but they'll be moving back into our bedroom. And then once we decide to let them go to fruit, once this is totally white, um, we will, yeah, bring them out here, remove the mic micropore tape, and we'll just let the mushrooms pin out of these little slits. We might make them a little bit larger. And yeah, we'll end up with a um, load of the tan mushrooms, or oyster mushrooms, I should say. I'll just um, move these guys away and we'll grab the life cycle kit. So this is the life cycle uh, mushroom kit. Julian sent this one over to me for free. He saw I'd been posting the other mushrooms online, so he thought he'd send me one of these over. Uh, just, you know, full disclaimer, have to let you know what the story is. But these kits here, um, they come, the handle ripped off unfortunately in transit, but they come with a little spray bottle uh, that you can use to spray the mushrooms just to keep uh, the, the opening where the fruiting bodies grow from nice and humid, uh, which the mushrooms enjoy. And inside it we have the actual coffee uh, spawn bag. So the actual bag full of the coffee grounds that has been colonized by the mushrooms. So what they do is they collect coffee grounds, then they um, make these kits up and they sell them online. You can see this is a proper um, mushroom bag. So we'll just pop him back in there. So these little grow boxes have a nice little perforated flap that you pull off out from the front. Once it's done fruiting, we're actually going to tape up that X and flip the bag around and start again, just like we did with the other bag. So now all we need to do is cut a little X in the front here and then we'll start to see a fruiting body come out. Uh, the reason I just had a tissue over this blade is I've sterilized the blade with some methylated spirits because we have used this blade on other mushroom bags. We just like to keep it um, disease free. Uh, none of the other little molds and funguses getting in here and ruining our mushrooms. So all I'm going to do is try and gingerly, I will end up cutting into the mushroom itself, but um, cut a little X down in here. Now what we can do is open up this plastic, not too much, there we go. So now I've um, filled up the little water bottle, now all we need to do is just give it a little bit of a mist, if I can get it pointing the right way, just around the plastic itself and it'll just help to keep it moist. Uh, we're in winter here by the way, down in the southern hemisphere and we find it gets very dry very low humidity, so uh, we actually lost a few of the other mushroom bags because it, we just weren't keeping them humid enough. So I might as well um, give this one a bit of a spray as well while I'm at it. So we were using the larger mister bottle, but I think I might just use this one. It's just got a, a slightly finer spray on the mist. So we'll leave that one there to um, keep these nice and hydrated. So Bianca and I are both chuffed we got to do the mushroom workshop again because we got some more tan oyster mushrooms. And we also picked up some tips and tricks from Ryan that were different to what um, Aaron suggested. So it's really good to get um, two different presenters there, you know, two different sets of um, or approaches to growing mushrooms. That was fantastic. Thank you very much, both of you. Um, yeah, so when it, just getting back to the renovations quickly, it will mean that I won't be uploading as much content as I would like to. Um, for instance, yesterday when John came around, I was getting ready to do a bit of a clip on the aquaponics, uh, just walking through how to maintain the system while there's no fish in there, whether you've harvested them or for some other reason. So um, I'll try and film that one through the week. So for now, fingers across the bank's gonna lend us the amount we need, and then it's just gonna be full steam ahead into getting the house sorted out, and then, um, yeah, back up to a more constant schedule around December, hopefully, for content for you folks on, um, yeah, what we're doing around the place here with the aquaponics and other bits and pieces and hopefully some more mushroom growing clips. So folks, had a few people ask how Lizzie's going. 
That's Lizzie's tiger, by the way. It's a stuffed toy that she's slowly shredding. Lizzie's going all right. She's a little bit, she's slowing down a little bit because it's winter here at the moment. A little bit arthritic. But yeah, other than that, she's in high spirits, as always. Especially with the toy. Especially with the toy. She could play catch and fetch for hours, seriously, until she wears herself out. But anyway, I will leave it there, folks. Yeah, say bye-bye, Lizzie. Say bye-bye, Gil. So just quickly, the website will still be up and running while we're renovating, and you can buy your uni seals and Queensland Nutbusters, which we ship worldwide, um, while that's all going forth. I'll also be doing a um, update every now and then to the channel for you folks who are interested in how the renovation is progressing. You can come along and check that out if you like. I do hope you're all well and happy in your own gardens and aquaponics and mushrooms are booming. And I will catch you next clip. Cheers, folks, and have a top one.